New information tonight on a Target 12 investigators exclusive, a fire station caught in controversy. The Chopmist Hill fire station in Situate was closed last week. This action after Situate town officials say they learned the taxpayer-funded equipment may have been misused. Now the town council is planning on reopening the department, but they're bringing in new blood to the firehouse. Target 12 investigator Tim White has the details. Town Council President Robert Budway tells me the move to bring in different volunteers into the fire station is separate from the ongoing investigation into misuse of equipment. He says several volunteers at the department were changing course and attempting to make themselves full-fledged town employees. The Chopmist Hill Fire Department closed in the wake of allegations of misuse of equipment will reopen but with a new set of volunteers. The Situate Town Council announcing the move today. Situate Town Council President Robert Budway says they will staff the station with firefighters from the three other volunteer departments in town. Citing what he calls a failure of leadership, Budway tells the Target 12 investigators there's been inappropriate behavior toward town residents and officials by ousted Chopmist Hill Fire volunteers following the controversial closing last week. The department was temporarily closed after a Target 12 exclusive last month. Photos surfaced showing a Chopmist Hill fire truck filling up with taxpayer-funded water in the neighboring town of Johnston. Council President Budway says that part of the investigation is ongoing. Situate police are looking into allegations the water was used inappropriately. Johnston Mayor Joseph Policina says his staff is attempting to calculate how much water was used and they will send Situate a bill. I reached out to Chopmist Hill Fire Chief Dennis Gaff so far, no comment. Now, Town Council President Robert Budway tells me they plan to have the trucks and the ambulance back in the firehouse by the end of the week, but no word on when the fire station will be fully operational. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News.